Hi, planner friends. It's Nia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to share with you what I am calling Jean's Planner Project. My friend Jean asked me to curate a planner just for her for 2020. So, um, I had thought I recorded a video with an introduction of that and what I was planning to do. I can't find the video anywhere, so I don't know if I deleted it. Um, I don't know if I didn't actually hit record, not sure, but I'm back to sort of reintroduce and um, talk about this project, and my goal is to share with you as I go along um, what I'm doing in her planner. I'll be um, just decorating it. She'll do her actual plans, and then I'll mail her um, parts of it at a time. So my goal is by the end of the year to get the planner itself out to her with the first couple of months decorated. My goal is January through March um, will be decorated and ready to go for her um, along with some items that I've ordered off of Etsy. And so I want to get that set up now. Um, in the previous video that I can't find, I had taken out um, a lot of the guts of the planner and the um, accessories that I had, and I had started to set it up. So I'll show that to you now. Um, this is May through December, and I had um, also got some note paper and... Um, like daily to-dos in the Glam Girl, and then some Wrong Wrong Line paper as well. And um, I did get a Glam Girl Mini. And so what I have done so far is added um, like a bookmark. And because it's Happy Planner, she can take these things out and put them back in. Um, I have um, January through April here. And then I have a dashboard that says hello beautiful um then we've got the daily to do's um in the glam girl that um is followed by um a wrong wrong dashboard and some note paper and then we've got a another dashboard you've got this um and then a wrong wrong folder and we've got some stickers in there <clears throat> and I'm going to send her some additional stickers so that she can do some customizing. And I've started to lay down some stickers in here because I thought I was doing it um, for all of you all on YouTube, but clearly I was not. So one of the things that I have done is um, ordered a... Um, I don't know what I would call this. It's a picture um, that was that she saw in my planner that she really liked. And so we're going to put this here on the inside cover. And I'm going to use removable adhesive so that if she wants to move it around, she can. And one of the most versatile things about Happy Planner is being able to move things around. So... Um, We'll lay that in there. And so now that is her, when she opens it up, that's what she will see. I've also got her name to lay down here and I just have to find it. So we'll come back to that because I don't know where it's at at the moment. And so these stickers, printables from um, Beautiful Planning on Etsy. Um, I already put down the um, dates, the numbers for January because it takes me forever and I have to use tweezers to get them off of here and get them down. But we're going to put the headers on here. I think this kit is so cute. It's so cute that I ordered one for myself, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I have a blue one that I really like that I'm going to use. I'm going to probably use a lot of blue in 2020. It is the classic blue is the Pantone color of the year. It's my favorite color. And so why not? Um, Jean's favorite color is yellow. And I am having difficulty finding yellow stickers and shops that cut, carry kits with yellow. So if you know of any, shout them out. Um, comment below. Let me know. I would love to find her some yellow stickers or a yellow kit. 
So now we've got the January um, there on the top. And um, let's see. We've got the only thing I think I will put on here um, from the rest of these is the payday sticker, which is um, January 30th. We work for the same company, just in a different place. So I know when payday is. So we'll put that down. And then um, I'm gonna use these. Um, pick these up at Hobby Lobby holidays um, because I don't have any on here so I'm going to use the ones from Hobby Lobby this is cute oh, I'm gonna put this okay so this will go down the side here and I wasn't expecting it to be all one strip. All right, so she can put in to do's and things for the month there. And I am going to white out Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which is on here, the longest sticker ever. I wish they had um, doubled up on it because, I mean, it goes across three days. Actually, I'm going to leave it alone because it goes across three days. Um, and maybe if I can find something else, I'll put something else there instead. So... Um, that's basically all I'm going to do. Uh, let's see. I'll add in one more sticker down here at the bottom. Oh, well, that's not straight. go. Okay, so that's January, month at a glance. Then I have started to put some things down on the um, January weekly. Um, got a little washi at the bottom there. And I'm going to stick these stickers in the back because I'm going to send those to her. Um, I'm not going to do too much. Let me just add a little doll here and then um, leave this the rest of this week alone. Um, I will look for a sticker. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll take one of these. Uh, let's see. For New Year's Day. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to stick another doll next to that. So. Just to sort of cover up that line there. Okay, so now we've got a little something on this week. I've already got a little something on this week. Um, 13th, 14th. I'm not going to do anything. 20th is Martin Luther King. So again, I'm going to look for um, a sticker. 
the one I have is entirely too big. And I don't think I have any sticker books here with me that will work. So for now, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, and then for this week, um, I've got the Glam Girl stickers here at the bottom. That was one of the other things that I got to go along with this project. So we're going to put the this up with some glam girl washi. And actually, what I am going to add so she's got it's got over here on the side top three this week, and then notes and ideas. I'm gonna just. can't find the white out. Okay, so I'm going to white this out and we'll see how it looks. Okay, and we'll put the to-do here. I'm cool with that, so I'm going to do that not every week, but I'll skip a skip one and add it on another one. And I'm gonna send her some of these stickers from um, Lily and Lola. So we've got to dos, we've got days of the week. Um, there's today. There's numbers next week, um, which I think is another cute way to break up this section here with things for next week. Let's see if I have a, a fancy next week. I think this is cute, so... We'll put this on here for next week. And I'm actually going to cover this. I'm not even going to white it out because it's big enough. And this will all be for next week. And so this I've got the seahorses and coral down at the bottom. Then we've got, um, we start to go into February with this week. Um... And I'm going to use on this one a sticker that says this week. And just put that there. And let's see. Sticker. I like this 
coffee and confidence. Okay, so that is that. Now we're into um, February. She's got a place where she can do monthly goals, important dates. It's got the holidays here, um, leap day, and then write it down. And then you've got a dashboard going into February that says, darling, um, you're different. So I am going to um, do the February kit. And again, I've laid down the numbers. This kit is from Design Lovely Studio. And so, um, again, I'm going to be sending her the extras. Um, but we're going to get the basics down today. So this is the header that goes across the top for February. And it doesn't really go with the purple. I wish that the Glam Girl was a little bit more neutral rather than having the um, color follow for the whole month. But um, we're going to roll with it. So that's that. And then um, I am going to... Do February's payday, which is the 28th. And this purple does not match, but there isn't a... Eh, purple and pink can go together. Um, now, this kit includes um, the holidays. So, I've got a President's Day and a Valentine's Day there that I can use. Um, I also want to use this sticker on Valentine's Day which you will notice is um, does not have a number on it um, because I knew that I intended to do this. So we've got that, and then we'll put the 14 on top of it. Um, so we've got that for Valentine's Day. I think that's cute. And then we will put... You are my cup of tea here. And we will put our President's Day sticker here. And I don't... Let's see, I don't know if this Valentine sticker is doing too much. Nope, I think actually it looks nice. So we'll put the Valentines down there. Um, okay, now the one thing this kit did not have is 29 days for February. It only had 28. So um, I did put an extra dot down here, um, but it does not have the day of the week on it. I'm just going to leave it alone. Um... And that's really, I think, all I'm going to do for this um, monthly. So that's the February monthly. Let's, um, I've got some stickers down um, in February. Uh, this is Valentine's week. We've got um, the week of the 17th through the 23rd. And I may add some more shoes down to the bottom. I'll go ahead and put in the, uh, put the next week sticker here. And go back. We'll put this week here. This week and to another this week. Got those in there. 
And I think, let's see. Um, for this week, the week of Valentine's Day, I'm, I'm really going to probably decorate this week. So I'm going to put these um, Day of the Week stickers across the top. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those are super cute. Okay, so this is going to be a, that was President's Day the 17th. So that's going to be a day off. So going back to these stickers. Uh, so I'm going to put this down here at the bottom. These are from Hobby Lobby and they are Paper Studio. So um, I like the Paper stu Studio stickers, especially when I can get them for 50% off. Okay, so that is that. Then we've got a few more pages where um, I put some stickers down already. I'll probably go back in and fill it in a little bit more. Then we have March. Um, I have a kit for March that I don't really like. So what I am going to do for March is use the Erin Condren sticker books. And um, so this is March. And this is March. And I think I'm going to use this one because um, it's smaller. I think they made them more for the petite planner. And I'm not going to use every sticker in here. I'm going to um, probably print another one of these kits and use the dailies from that. Uh, let's cut that off the top. Okay, so we've got March there. And let's see, this first day of spring sticker is huge. Like any way you slice it, that is entirely too big. So I don't want to do that. I do want to use this. Um, good things happen to those who hustle. Across the bottom here. Which is really pretty that's got the gold foil. And it works out perfectly because this month's whole little theme is green. So, um... I am going to so I've got daylight savings time St. Patrick's Day first day of spring these are just too big for this book um, so I am going to Let's see, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, it's too big. First day of spring's not on here, and daylight savings is not on here. I have some other things I can look at, though, so I'll leave that alone for now. And... Doll 
that has green on. And I don't think that I do. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with these, with this spread. Um, okay, so then these weeks I haven't done yet. So I think I'm going to hold off on that until the next week. And I haven't been able to find any April kits yet. So um, I have not done April. So I think I'll hold off on that until the next time. So what we've got done today is we got our girl here. Um, we have the January month at a glance and the February month at a glance, and we've started our March month at a glance, and then we've got some weeks mildly decorated, um, in January and February. So, um, this is, again, Jean's Planner Project. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and you enjoy um, going on this journey with me as I curate this planner, especially um, for my friend Jean. Um, I am going to add her name here, but I'm going to do that off camera. Um, let me know what you think. I would love, love, love to hear if you have um, some ideas about decorating Jean's planner. And I thank you for watching.